did you just break it? It stopped. It stopped moving. This is Jaden's videos, and we are going Halloween hunting at Spirit, Home Depot, and Party City with with pumpkin spice stuff. So stay tuned, it's gonna be fun. Here we are at the Spirit Halloween in St. Pete, Florida. Haven't been to this one yet. Here it is. This is a dark location. There's the Martian. I really, honestly kind of like this location. It's very dark. Here's Dagger Mike. Are you not recording? <laughs> this is a very, very dark location. Here is the scary sitting scarecrow. Here is poor George. Like I said, this location is very dark and I love it. Here is our boy Slim. There we go. This one actually looks a lot better than the one in Clearwater. Better sculpt. I just want to like give that description Here is the widow, which this one actually works. Unlike some places. Yeah. Look at how dark this location is. Like, wow. I like it. This is how every spirit should be. Here is the Beetlejuice wall. I'm not noticing anything different other than this that the Clearwater location doesn't have. No. There is more Haunted Mansion stuff though. Clear this this was fire. not at Clearwater. It's Neither was green. this. And the, the Mystic Arts stuff. A lot of this stuff is the same as Clearwater, but there are some different things which I will point out as we get to them. Such as they have the Leatherface baby, as well as the Ghostface baby. And there's more sidesteppers here as well, including Sam, who won't turn on. There we go. There's the Sam sidestepper. There's the Pennywise. Spiky. And here's Ghostface, which we've already seen. And Billy Butcherson. Here's the tarot stuff and the Corpse Bride stuff as well. And I haven't seen this yet this season. The Sam Groundbreaker, which online it shows that this is clearance. I don't know if it's clearance in stores or not. Doesn't look like it. But there's the Sam Groundbreaker. It looks like it has more blood on it than in recent years. Animatronic boxes, there's the Widow, there's uh, Straw Man, Sandworm Groundbreaker, Sitting Scarecrow, Young Crouchy, Stilts. We're gonna head to the back, because I know uh, there is a small back theme at this location. We have Darling Dolly, Emmeline, which I'm glad this store has an Emmeline, because mine is almost out of the Emmeline, so if I decide to get her, I know I have a backup. There's Slim, Man's Possessed Friend, Dismodus, there's actually two Dismodus, Howling Spirit, quite a few Darling Dollies. There's a Black Heart, Stilts, another Black Heart, Eternal Rest, Leatherface, Little Skelly. Oh, they actually have Leatherface set up. So I haven't, here he is. This is, this is very fun seeing him after uh, the Texas Chainsaw game just came out not that long ago. So I love getting another look at him. Here's a little Skelly. 
I gotta say, I do prefer the Party City leather face, but I'm not gonna lie. This one's grown on me a lot. I actually quite like him. I'm actually at the point where it's like, which one do I get, Party City or Spirit? I don't know. But right here, of course, we have the doorway with the jumping spider. Which there's two green lights in this one instead of a green and a blue like most locations. We'll take a look at some of the smaller decor. There's the zombie rabbits, the lab rat. Again, this this location, I actually really like it. That is awesome. I might have to get this. Texas chainsaw sign. That is so cool. There's a there's a lot of signage here. Some of it's the same, some of it's different. Oh, I love how dark this location is. This is so spooky looking in here. I love it. So nice to see a dark spirit location. I haven't seen something like that in a while. A lot of the same zombie babies. I don't know what that is. Is this new? It looks new. We'll take a look at some of the masks at this location. A lot of them look the same. Except there is the vintage clown mask that is different, as well as the vintage robot mask, and then, ooh, vacuform Frankenstein face mask. That is awesome. Over here, a lot of these masks look about the same as other locations. Check out my full spirit walkthrough if you want to see all of these. Uh, I, th I don't think Captain Spaulding was there at the other ones. There's the Pretty Woman Leatherface mask. I love that. Cartoon Cat mask. Like I said, a lot of these are the same. There's honestly not a huge selection of masks at Spirit this year compared to previous years, which is very surprising. Uh, but there's the Eyeless Jack mask, which I have not shown yet. The other location has that, I just have not shown it yet. Of course, you have all your hats, all your weapons and accessories, and the cool doll staff makes its return. I've always liked that. And some more clown masks here. Here is the Nightmare Before Christmas wall. Looks about the same. I th don't think this guy was at the other location. The Pumpkin King plush. That one's actually really cool. And ooh, I didn't even notice Haunted Mansion section is actually really well stocked at this location. I noticed this location's pretty stocked in a lot of things. I think because it's more tucked away. And it's not as big of a location as the other one. So more people go to the other one. But here's the library bust, which it was not at the other one as well as the Madame Leota tombstone down there. And something that really caught my eye, the Sam lamppost statue, because I really want this thing. And it has not been at my location for a couple weeks. Tempted to grab it today, but I don't know yet. We'll have to see. I'm gonna keep looking around here. And looks like we got a little Skelly Bones plush right here. As well as the Beetlejuice a uh, snake. Very cool. Worth pointing out the Five Nights at Freddy's costume section. This is just for kids, but I didn't even know these existed. Um, I don't know why they don't have any in adults, but this is pretty cool. Freddy, Foxy, and you've got the ones from Security Breach too. We're at Party City and they're not going to have anything. I just know it. Okay, so they have stuff, but it's nothing new. <laughs> so there's the pumpkin creep. I don't even know if he's on, but there he is and they have his giant box. And over here, the trick or treat duo, the ice cream clown, and Max spots something. What in the world? It's the plague doctor from Spirit 2015. What in the heck? What? What is going on? Why is he here? That's really weird. Anyways, with that aside, a lot of it is just the basic decor, as you can see, which we already saw at another location. It looks like it's all the same. I need to say something about Party City. They are trying to compete with Spirit, yet they're so late. It's literally September is tomorrow. September is tomorrow. And Party City won't get anything new. And Halloween City won't open. Party City, if you want to compete, be on time. What in the world? There's some cool masks. I just take that back. What is this? That is awesome. That is so cool. 
I love the look of that. Look at that mask. Wow, that's cool. There's the wood monster. I got this one on sale last year. This is really weird to see. Krampus. This is the Ghoulish Productions Krampus mask. And right here, Mega Zombie mask, which has the chest piece and everything. This dapper vintage cat is pretty cool. It looks like it's based off the Bastille one. And then you have up top, there's this tooth monster, this big alien thing, werewolf mask, radioactive skull, spiky skull, and what is this? This is pretty cool. That's a cool EL wire. This is a cool EL wire. This one is one I really like. And emotion masks are back. And look at that hellhound. I'm trying to record my video. I'm trying to record a video right now. This is important. There's an alien. You talk so loud though. So this is the uh, hellhound dog. And so this is a new animotion mask. Sir, you're being really loud. Sir, I'm gonna have to ask you. How do you, you like how it feels? How do you like how it feels? Primeval Vampire. Slender Man. Wait, they actually called it Slender Man instead of Silent Stalker. Okay, so here's the Hellhound here. Oh, that is so cool. That is so awesome looking. Hellhound. Why do I kind of like this tinsel cat? It's so basic, but I kind of like it. Here's some standing greeters, a Jack and Sally, and then just your generic Halloween characters. And a bunch more costumes. And hanging things. Still surprised that the Plague Doctor's here. That's pretty cool. I like the look of him. Bunch of hanging things. I didn't even see her yet, the tea time. Is she from last year or is she new from this year? That's pretty cool. I, I can't remember if she's from last year or not though, or if she's new. Um, um, pumpkin skeleton? Okay and a bunch of posing stays. It's a Halloween theremin version of the Home Depot song. They're not gonna have anything, I guarantee. Um, um, we were expecting nothing. They have everything. Uh, wow. Okay. It's about as big as I thought. I was expecting it to be smaller, not like height-wise, but... Alright, we're gonna go... There's actually some pretty cool things up top that I want to point out. That archway is cool. There's a lot of cool inflatables. There's an Ursula. These bats, these twinkling bats, are pretty neat. And then that bat silhouette, and I really like that tree switching between purple and orange. There's a bunch of tombstones down here. And some statues. Of course, the skeleton animals make their return. They have a more decayed, decrepit look this year. I actually quite like that. There's a dragon. And there's a skull. And then there's these blow mold animals. A lot of tabletop stuff we'll take a look at. Minion, I'm not even gonna press that. Screw that. Kinda like his purple suit. A Winifred, a Chucky. You got your win. And they're actually selling, this This got sent out to people. They're actually selling the little Home Depot village building with the Inferno pumpkin, the skeleton, the pumpkin stack. I didn't even notice they have the skeleton wolf on there too because he is a staple. What in the world is that? What is this? Huh?
Wow, that's stupid. <laughs> Some of these I can't reach the buttons for, but I think we know what they all do. I do want to see the scarecrow, though. That's not awful for a little three-foot thing. What is this guy doing? Okay, he's singing a little song. Can't hear what he's saying, but he's singing. Over here, we've got uh, all the stuff in boxes. There's the Spell Casting Witch, the Marie the Meddling Maid, there's Dean the Deathologist, the Boogeyman, Sitter of Souls, Possessed Penny. There's so much stock. They must have just put this stuff out. There's a bunch of inflatables. There's the Grave Digger. That's sweet. Uh, Reaper, Smoldering Reaper, that giant skull, which they call Haunted Skull. Here's the wolf skeletons making their triumphant return, including a decayed one. Well, that's supposed to be a dog, that's not the wolf. I like that. That's really cool. And then there's the sheep dog. <laughs> what in the world is that? Okay. There's the three foot version of the 12 foot skeleton. I actually like him. And of course the pumpkins. I always love the pumpkins at Home Depot. Unfortunately this year there's not a lot of great ones, but there are a few good ones. This one returns from last year, which I actually quite liked last year. You can't hear him, but I love the animation he has. And then this one has the same animation, but this is new. I like that white pumpkin. You've got your classic Halloween pumpkins up there. And then I know this guy has a projection face. I've seen videos of him. Don't know if he's, yeah, he is facing the right way. Can't really see it too well in the store. This white pumpkin's pretty cool too. Ooh, that's got a really nice glow. I like that one a lot. And then these ones are returning, these flaming ones, which I love these. They have a great flickering effect. This one actually looks like a somewhat newer design. This one's from last year. There's also these, that's a new effect too. Okay, I take back what I said about them not having a lot of good pumpkins. I never saw these ones. They're the rotten pumpkins again. These are the rotten pumpkins again, <laughs> but they don't have the flame that like twirls around in there, which I'm actually glad about because that thing broke a lot. They just have a cool flickering. That looks cool. Then there's this one. I like the face on that one a lot. Not crazy about the light on it, but I love the face on that. That looks cool, that's a great sculpt. There's these ones which I don't really care too much about. I like the flicker on these, but they look kind of cheap. They don't look real. There's a few different versions. There's this one too. Though they are relatively cheap. They're 30, whereas Grimacing, which is the same size as 40. However, I'll get to Grimacing in a second. He's been returning for quite a few years. I have Grimacing. I think that might be the best pumpkin they've made. I like the flicker. They just look kind of not as real as these ones. Grimacing is back. I love the Grimacing pumpkin. He's got that same flicker, but he just has a cool look and he's huge. There's some of their new tombstones back here. It's kind of hard to see because there's some hay bales in front of them, but there's the cross one, the angel one's back, and the obelisk is kind of small. I like that cross one quite a bit. And then there's the cheap metal ones and some solar stakes. We're gonna look at the animatronic. Here is their animatronic display for this year. There's two displays. This is the Grave and Bones collection, and then over there is the Dead Water stuff. We're gonna look at Grave and Bones first. They actually have QR codes this year to show what the things do, I guess, in case it's not working. And then, or you could shop it online, I guess. And then there's actually names so you know what goes, what try me button goes to what, which was always kind of difficult figuring out in years past. This goes to Jack Skellington, which is really big. There he is. He's actually really cool. As a Nightmare Before Christmas fan, I really like him. I wasn't crazy about him at first because, I mean, he's 13 feet and Jack isn't 13 feet, but that's an awesome display piece. Look at the head movement. That's incredible. I really like that. I love him. I don't know where he, I don't see him in the box anymore, unless he's over there, I don't think I looked over there. 
He might already be sold out, but wow, he's cool. There's 12 foot skeleton, which apparently this is his last year and his run, but it's good to see him again. And there is the skull stack. His try me button goes to the boogeyman, which isn't as big as I thought he'd be. However, he's also compared to a literal 13 foot Jack Skellington. So proportions are weird, but boogeyman. He's gonna push Marie over. He's pretty cool. Here is the spell casting witch. Her button's over here. She's all right. <laughs> Marie the meddling maid, also known as Yvette from Clue. There's the archway, which that archway honestly isn't that tall. I feel like some people might have trouble getting under that. That's not that tall. That's kind of weird. I thought it'd be bigger. Here's Dean back again. Not a surprise. You can't really hear him too well, but we saw him last year. I don't know how I missed this. There's the giant skull with the light up eyes. And the Reaper's back. I love the Reaper. He's cool. Smoldering Reaper. Last year, if you remember, he was high up. This year, he's down on the ground, so you can see him better. Well, you could see his size better. I really like him. And here is the new grave digger, who tilts his shovel as if he's digging the ground, which is a really cool feature. See, this job ain't all bad. These worms will make a tasty snack for later. <laughs> Over here in the dead water collection, we have the eight foot pumpkin stack back again, which is down on the ground this year. Last year was high up. There's Sinister Steve, which is a lot bigger than I thought he would be. Probably my least favorite thing at Home Depot this year. He's literally advertising for wood and tile. <laughs> that scarecrow is quite large. I didn't think he'd be that big. Now, Predator of the Night is not as big as I thought. However, I think I was picturing him as like a 12 foot thing, even though I know he's nine feet. But he's still awesome looking. But before that, we're going to look at the this official name of this is Good and Evil Pumpkin Twins. The Angel and the Devil. You can't even hear them really. They're too quiet. There's the Bubbling Cauldron. And there's the Fisherman who keeps going off there. He's actually pretty cool. And there's Possessed Penny back there. Going off. Can't really hear her, but... There, go her, there goes her eye flip. And here is Sitter of Souls. Do you want to play with me? Um, I'm not crazy about her. Predator of the Night, though. I want to see him. Let's turn him on. Ooh. Now that is cool. That is awesome. Wow. I kind of want him. That is really cool. I'm going to do him again. He's a great one. If I could get him to go again. That head movement's great. The lights are great. Wow. He's awesome. And he's a good haunt one too. A lot of the 12 foot things are so big that they can only be displayed outside. 
He's nine feet tall. He's about the right size where you could just put him in a haunt as long as, as, long as it's like more of like a trail haunt. Maybe not an indoor haunt, but you know what I'm saying. Here is Lethal Lily, the legend. Excited to see her in action. Oh, you want to leave? <laughs> It's well known that those who enter my lair never leave. Her great face along, movement. I've been waiting for you for quite some time. And, dearie, you'll be fine. A fine potion to make me immortal. <laughs> that looks awesome in person. I love that. Do her again. And I love the lights that shine on her. Need a few ingredients that you seem to have. She's great. And last but not least, I actually quite like it. I know a lot of people don't. I actually like it. The Marsh Monster. I actually like him. And okay, here's more of the new tombstones. These are great. That is awesome. This one's really cool. And there's also some more cross ones. We got a ton of skeletons, of course. A lot of them. Some spiders. More skeleton animals. I'm not going to go through all of them. I want to look at the boxes and see what we got in stock. Skull stack, pumpkin stack, scarecrow, marsh monster, predator of the night. I want you. I didn't want you before. I want you. Ooh, some new lights. This this illusion light. I like that ghost. It has a, that on display. There's the LED skeleton lighting kit. They're selling floodlights this year. Thank you, Home Depot. Thank you. Floodlights are the best lighting for Halloween. I don't like flashy lighting. I like ambient lighting when it comes to haunts. Thank you for admitting that, Home Depot. There's a Lethal Lily. I'm surprised she's still in stock. There's a Sinister Steve, Bubbly Cauldron, the twins, and some of your pathway lights. And this is cool. This is a, a light lens that goes on your regular landscaping lights, a purple. I don't know if they only have purple, if they have different colors. I'm only seeing purple. Okay, there's also a red one. It's just not in stock yet. That's pretty cool. We're here at At Home again just to see this thing. Just because we wanted to make fun of it. Wow, that is really bad. It kind of creeps me out in a way that it shouldn't. It shouldn't creep me out as much as it does, but it does. It's uncanny. But it's pretty bad. Look at all the lab stuff they have it at home this year. Wow. It's a whole lab section. But, um, over here? Well, they have Christmas, but over here... Since when were they getting a dragon? Is this Winter Dragon? It doesn't look big enough to be Winter Dragon. Is this a new dragon? I didn't know they were getting that. We've already looked at all the inflatables, but I haven't seen that ghost one yet. He's pretty cool. This is a different at-home location, by the way. Everywhere we went today is different locations than usual. And uh, it's been... We've had a lot of luck with it. There's this display here with this cool light, lighted decor. Big inflatable cat. Here's some more of the lab stuff. I, I cannot believe there's a whole lab section. It's kind of weird. Well, not weird. It's actually cool. I like it a lot. They have this guy. Saw him back in July. Haven't seen him since. Uh, then again, we haven't gone to at home that much ever since the other stores started getting stuff because at home's kind of inferior, but <laughs> no offense at home. There's this 10 foot or 12 foot, I can't really tell, Reaper. I don't know how to turn him on. He looks kind of stupid though. That big pumpkin's pretty cool though. And that tree, I really like that tree. That big pumpkin's pretty cool. There's a bunch of lawn stakes. Oh, there goes the dragon. Maybe, I don't know. Kiss of death. Look at all the Halloween, wow. That's a lot of stuff. It's like a whole aisle straight down of just Halloween. There's the 12 foot, or no, sorry, 10 foot witch who is not on, but she's up there. Look at all this Halloween. I, I cannot show it all. Since we've already visited some other places today, I'm not going to show it all in this video, but... Um, yeah. This is all the, like, witchy-type stuff. 
skeleton armadillo mixed in. I can't show all of this. There's so much. Here's the Erie Estates collection. Something singing. That cool bust right there. Oh. I think he was what was singing. Here's the rustic all the way. So they actually have it set up in collections on each little thing, which is actually pretty cool. There's a black tree. That's not to be confused with the Christmas black tree, but it's a black tree for Halloween. I love this ghost. He is so cool looking. I absolutely love him. I'm gonna go around here. Ceramic trees, some wreaths. That cat is pretty cool. I like that cat with his arched back. Pumpkin rug, pumpkin pillow. Some other things. A lot of very cool looking Halloween stuff. This is very rustic, farm like look to some of these with all the plaid and the flannel colors. Now, over here is the more trick or treat, cutesy type stuff. We've already seen most of this uh, way earlier on when they started getting stuff because that home's always the first place to get stuff. We already saw most of the stuff, so I'm just going to go over it quickly. Nothing too much new. This is interesting. Little gingerbread Halloween house and a ice cream one, too. Ooh. I like this. This is kind of a throwback. Scarecrow pumpkin. That's very nostalgic for me. Looks like stuff I used to decorate with for fall when I was younger. Like the ones that they used to sell at Dollar Tree. I think they still sell them, but... This is cool too. This should be up by the lab stuff, but this is a caution hazardous waste barrel with a skeleton. What the heck? I can have it? I can have it? Here's some more traditional stuff, but it's kind of more cutesy than just straight up traditional. So I'm not too crazy about it. That pillow's cool. And then there's a bunch of skeleton and cemetery type stuff with that cemetery arch. There's a bunch of skeletons. We've already looked at most of these. I like that haunted house pillow though. Look at that. It's a ticket. It's a haunted house ticket. Oh, there it is. Closer. That's cool. Yeah, these are all the skeleton things, which as Mac just mentioned is his video. We've already seen all this stuff many times. Yo, yo, yo! It's him, it's the beast about to strike. Did you just break it? It stopped. It stopped moving. <laughs> it's twitching. What did you do to it? It's twitching. Did someone have a nightmare? Look, it's slowly writhing. You it's killed it. You killed it. So I hope you all enjoyed that hunting video. Tomorrow is the first day of September, so the Halloween season is officially beginning. <laughs> so stay tuned for more videos coming your way, including Fearville builds and other spooky stuff. Hope you all enjoyed. Remember that here lies Halloween. The pump the pumpkin muffin is way more pumpkin-y than the donut.